Hi everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Take On DDS CAD. We recently received a request from Daniele Torcello from Italy to create a video showing the duct system balancing, including air terminal and damper adjustment. By the way, I have an additional motivation to create the videos when I receive this request from your side. Before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Enjoy! In order to perform the pressure loss calculation by adjusting air terminal and dampers, these objects must have a syntax of the zeta value steps. If you want to know more about how to add the syntax to the objects, put your comment below and we'll get back to you about this topic. Getting back to this demonstration, I will now add a damper to the model that has the syntax in order to make this adjustment. And I will add this damper for each terminal. Now I will start the pressure loss calculation. When we start the pressure loss calculation DDS CAD, it understands the duct system as fully opened. If I select this last segment, we see that the air terminal and damper in the column valve setting has the value set to zero, meaning it's fully opened. Else, with the option nominal, we can also check in the column worst path, which is indeed the worst path. And if we look in the model, it will be highlighted. Now, to balance the system, I will select the calculation type as only adjuster terminals and dampers. And I'll select the option automatic adjust air terminals and dampers. If we look into this segment in which we already saw the air terminal and damper uh, with the nominal option kept opened, as we can see in the valve setting. Now, if we check another segment, we see that the earth terminal is still set to zero because we don't have any syntax for this earth terminal for the adjustment. However, the damper now has the setting to 45. Let's check another. This one has the setting to 70, 85, 85, and 90. Now we'll apply this change. And to make it visible on the model, I will select all dampers and access their properties. In the tab text, I will activate this part text that includes the valve setting text, uh, part text. So now we see that this air, term air terminal is opened. This has the position to 45, 70, 85, 85, and 90. If we double click this damper and we go to the tab pressure loss, we see uh, the position and we can also see the calculation data as the airflow, velocity, pressure loss, and the zeta. Else, we can generate a report for these uh, valve settings. We come to the building and the pressure loss calculation, we have the option reports. I will select the option pressure loss detail and the valve characteristics. We see here all the dampers and air terminals, including the volume flow, the pressure loss and the set point. If you like this video, share it. If you have any questions or suggestions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!